just about this far away from being able to start spraying the van, man. Ha <laughs> ha, the minivan, man. We got up this morning, we got the little stuff masked off that was left, the wheels. I masked off the back section. You guys remember that we painted this black? I want that to stay black. The roof still needed to be sanded. That's why Braven's up there. Hey guys. Hi, Braven. How's it going? But anyhow, he's sanding the roof, and I'm just going through and just scuffing up all the overspray from the black that we sprayed yesterday. Oh, baby, look at that juicy one right there. Dang old juicer. So everything you see on this table right now, I'm gonna use every single bit of this for this paint job, bro. Oh my God, this is gonna be crazy. All right. It wasn't fair letting you guys guess what color this van's gonna be because it's gonna be a combination of three, four, it's gonna be like four or five colors that's gonna actually get the final product of what we're going for today. I have black in this can. This is red oxide right here. This right here is a Dun Edwards color, DET467 Harrison Rust. And this one is also a Dun Edwards color, DET691 Spiced Hot Chocolate. It's gonna take a combination of all of those colors today to achieve what it is we're going for with this van right now. So let's just get into it. All right, red oxide is the very first color that we're putting down. This is the base coat. So basically the whole entire van is gonna get sprayed with this color. That is our first step. And yeah, it's probably gonna be the step that takes the longest. So I'm gonna get into this. So our next step is we're taking our two Dunn Edwards colors and I have poured these colors straight into these little pans. Uh, the pans are just so I can use to, to dip our sponge in. I took one of these sponges and I ripped it in half. And as you've seen, I just kind of picked little pieces out of it just to make it a little bit more inconsistent. We're literally just gonna dip the sponge into the paint and then we're gonna start dabbing it onto the car. And I'll demonstrate it right now. So we have our two colors, we have our two sponges. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the first color. You wanna really get the sponge pretty wet. So, 
we'll take our first color and I like to kind of start light I don't I don't want to cover a whole entire area you know what I mean so you just want it to be real like kind of inconsistent now I'll take my second sponge and our second color and do the exact same thing So basically just like that bro is what you end up with. Now bear with me, there's still quite a few more steps in this. I know it looks kind of goofy right now. It looks like a sponge painting because well it is. As we go through our next steps it's going to look a lot cooler but for the time being I need to go over this whole entire van and do exactly what it is I just did right now. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, I know it looks goofy as all hell right now. And if the van was staying like this, I can already see there'd be memes all over Instagram just talking all kinds of shit, bro. I'm sure, I'm sure there would be. But no, it's not gonna stay like this. We basically just have our base down. Now I have to do a combination of, of different techniques in order to blend these colors. So right now it just looks like a sponge painted van in which that's exactly what it is. It looks goofy as hell because you can see all the squares and the outline, like the hard lines of uh, where we are padding it with the sponge. You know what I'm saying? So now what we need to do is go through and actually blend all this together. And what we're gonna do is the exact two colors that we we're just using now I have them in my PPS cups so that I can use it in my spray gun basically gonna be misting both colors on at a very low PSI so it just kind of splatters on there and then using the sponge to just kind of dab it all once again bro it's gonna be another kind of little lengthy process but we got to get it done I'm gonna take my first color now I don't have a PSI gauge on here so I go off a of sound I'm basically turning this down to where you could barely hear the air. And if you get close. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, the air was a little bit too low there. <laughs> a little bit higher i'm gonna show you guys on the paper so that you can actually see what the gun is doing here do you see that it's just a speckle that's what you're looking for so i'm gonna speckle the whole thing with one color to be honest with you guys this would be a lot easier with two guns but at the moment i only have one and now our second color and once we do that then we're gonna come, you gotta hit it with the sponge again. But you gotta be quick, this shit dries quick. You can also kinda do a little bit of a drag. You just wanna really kinda blend this shit together, bro. Just blend it together. Picasso, man! I'm motherfucking the modern day Picasso right here, you know what I'm saying? I feel like so many people, look at me. I feel like so many people are probably making fun of me right now. But it's all right, it's gonna look cool. You don't trust me? No trust? Look at Junior right now. Look at Junior. Junior don't fucking trust me. Look at this guy. He's been I'm laughing the whole I'm time. I'm gonna let you paint my car if you're gonna paint it that color. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've showed you the process. I'm gonna go ahead and just get through this once again and try to get this process done because this is when it's gonna start to kind of come to life, man. Uh, I'm gonna need these guys' help so that I'm gonna spray the colors on and they're gonna go behind me and just sponge it. So yeah, enjoy the hyperlapse. See you in a second. starting to blend together a little bit now so what I'm gonna do is actually go back uh, what we're gonna do at this point is go back and do kind of that same speckled technique but with black and whenever I hit it with the black instead of just dabbing it with a sponge we're gonna actually be pulling down in a downwards motion I'll show you the same speckled technique I'm gonna speckle this area 
And I'm gonna take the sponge and I'm gonna just drag it in a downwards motion. Just like that, that's the effect we're going for. So basically just trying to add detail to it man just trying to add more and more detail to it and that's basically it dude just trying to make it look rustic and old and you know and to the point to where body damage don't stand out but i'm gonna go through and do this to the entire van once again and then we'll move on to our very final step all right so we got that step completed now one more step i am taking that original base color that we had i put a lot of reducer in here so it's really translucent uh, i'm gonna turn the gun really really high like as high as it'll go and spray it on here with with a lot of air pressure bro and kind of far back what we're doing here is just like dusting you want to like dust it on there uh, you don't want it to cover you want it to just kind of give everything like a tint You know what I'm saying? So all of these steps we still have to do to the roof of this motherfucker But as you can see we're running out of sunlight So I'm just trying to hurry up and get through all the steps for you guys So I'm gonna hit it with this one and then see what it looks like after we're done man turning my air pressure all the way up on max and literally standing way the hell back here like Just like that, you're gonna do that to the whole thing. Well, there it is, dude. That's the rusted finish, man. So, uh, for everybody who guessed the twisted metal van, you are 100% correct. I think there was one person. I saw one comment that people said twisted metal. I know this doesn't look like the twisted metal van, 
Uh, honestly, I, I was looking at pictures of it and that van was kind of ugly, bro. I didn't want to paint this to look like that. Um, this was just kind of my plan from the beginning, bro, is to do this rusted look. At my day job, this is a finish that I used to do on signs all the time. So this is a finish that I have done on many things for customers and I just, I've never done it on a car before, obviously. So I thought this would be perfect just to make it look like post-apocalyptic, like just rust it out, you know, instead of having to do all the body work and fix all the dents, it just goes with the theme, bro. It just fits in. So it saved us a bunch of work having to do body work and I think it gave the van character. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to see another rusted out Honda Odyssey. But anyhow, there's a lot still to go into this van, bro. We got to do wheels, suspension. I got to do the stickers on this thing, the headlights and grill. Like, there's a lot of things that's going to add a lot of detail to this that's just going to make it look even better. I, I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty goofy sitting on the stock wheels and tires. I want to tint the windows. Anybody here in Phoenix does window tinting? um and and wants to give me a good deal you know what i'm saying i can most certainly give you a shout out on the video try to get you some more customers but um i would love it if somebody knows what's up with window tinting can hit me up i want to just completely limo this thing out there's a lot there's a lot to do to the van bro so anyhow i hope you guys are stoked i hope you guys like the color um it's it's something different for sure but that's pretty much all i have for today's video man i hope you guys enjoyed it peace out and i'll see you on the next one dude when we're actually getting this thing assembled we only have from today what's today Braven? The 11th. damn we have six days until the event man so yeah got a lot of work still to do peace